Hello, hello, welcome to the second part on how to make a resin card. And yeah, this is it. This is the basic ground texture I always use. And now the fun part. So we will be converting this picture into normal map or bump map. I'm not sure this is the right way of making a bump map or a normal map. Because first I create a blank white image. After that, go to filters, 3D and as you can see, they have two options. So you can choose either of these two, but for now I'll be using bump map. And also make sure to save the plain one image for the base color as you can see here. So we have a problem, it shows a repeated number of register logo, so no need to worry about that. First click it here, but don't use extend because as you can see it's stretched out. So make sure to change to clip. And yeah and for some people or for the beginners you might find like this like after connecting to the best color so no need to worry about it first go to UV editing and all you have to do is select all the faces and press U project from view and you can see it here so now you gotta do is you know scale it up and change the position even same here you can use the UV projection and it's just the uh, UV map. Even we have a problem here that it applied the Razor logo texture. So you can use the same UV project from view, but this one I won't be doing it. Instead of that, I add a material and new assign. And as you can see, you can change any color, whatever you like. For now, I'll be using black color. So this part I'll be speeding up because uh, I'm just setting up some lights, you know, adjusting and make sure to turn on the depth of fill and adjust some focus distance. Now let's add some glow effect on the logo. So create a color ramp, connect to the color ramp and color ramp to the emission. So add some strength and make sure change the color white to green and the black color just put it in the middle and make sure to turn on the bloom effect on the render settings and now you can see here and so now we will be making this animation i don't know what to call it or should i say morphing glow animation effect just now i made up that name whatever anyway continue all you have to do is duplicate the plain ground and remove the texture and create a new one and follow these steps
and now the animation part so select the noise texture and press ctrl t make sure to turn on the not regular add-on if you haven't turned on so go to edit preference and type not regular now let's start animating so i won't be using location xyz axis instead of that i'll be using rotation so in the rotation it shows something like formation or deformation effect don't know how to say it, but here it is so this effect is really kind of cool even you can use for the future projects it's really have helpful and it's kind of underrated guys because it's a really easy animation all you have to do is add some keyframes and done and also guys you can add surface imperfection on the card like to make it more realistic as you can see here i found this uh surface imperfection texture from polygon texture so after you apply the texture you will get the same result what i'm getting right now so make sure to use the node regular add-on and add a value node and connect to the scale and scale it up a little bit whatever use the color ramp to adjust the roughness and try to get the result what you want and done Oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you guys that you can change the position from the mapping node as you can see here. So I guess this is the end of the tutorial. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. So make sure to like and share. And lastly, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm really sorry that I kept delaying this tutorial because at the time I have semester exam. Yes, I'm a student. And also at the time I have lots of client projects so I can't manage the time properly. Yeah. So once again, thank you for watching. Peace.